A converging lens has a focal length of 34 centimeters. Locate the following object distances if they exist. Enter zero in the Q and M field if no image exists. So we have the focal length, 34 centimeters, and it wants us to locate the images. So it wants us to locate Q and M it, given P. So it gives us P of a bunch of different values. And so all we got to do is find an equation that works and plug and chug for P every time. So um, we'll start with our 1 over P. So this is the, the thin lens equation. 1 over P plus, plus 1 over Q is equal to 1 over the focal length. So you might notice this looks a lot like the mirror equation. So thin lenses and mirrors act the same. The, oh, the difference is whenever Q and P are positive, it, it is quite different than with a mirror. So we want to solve for Q. Q 1 over Q is equal to 1 over the, free, 1 over the focal point minus 1 over P. I'm going to go ahead and, and jump to a couple of steps. Uh, if you don't know how I got this algebraically, then please go back and review the first 12 videos for this uh, for this chapter. Now, of course, magnification equals negative Q over P. You could do a substitution and say that it's equal to negative PF over P times P minus F, and that would allow you to solve for the magnification without solving for Q first. Um, but you don't have to do that. You'll notice here that we could cancel out one of these P's and so the magnification is equal to negative focal length divided by P minus the focal length. And so really simple magnification equation for a thin lens. So first of all, um, if you go ahead and plug in, so P is 34. If you plug in 34 here, the focal length is, I'm sorry, the focal length is, is 34. So 34 here. If you plug in the P is 34, as in part A, then you have 34 minus 34. You get 0. And any time you have divide by 0, the number is undefined. When you get that, what that is telling you is that no image is formed in that situation. No image is formed. So on part A, um, you get uh, Q is equal to 0, M0. It, it's not equal to 0. It just doesn't exist. No image is formed. And so you select no image. And then if you try with 11.33 uh, 11 um, 11 is the next thing, you should get Q is, Q is equal to negative 16.9 and M is positive 1.49. So almost 17 and almost 1.5. The difference is this is a negative number, this is a positive. So since the magnification is positive, it's going to be upright. But since Q is negative, it's going to be a virtual image. So, And then you keep going and you type in, uh, so you use 102 in your calculator, 102 centimeters. And you'll get that Q is equal to, let me switch that back. So Q is equal to 51 centimeters and M is negative 0 0.5. So Q being positive for this for this converging lens, so it's a converging lens, that means Q is positive, it's going to be a real image, but since M is negative, it's going to be inverted, so inverted and real. Again, be looking towards my blog in within a few days, and I'll have a chart, that is like a cheat sheet, that you can just, it's going to have, um, if it's converging or diverging, where the, the object location is for positive or negative, the image location, the radii of R1 and R2 for positive and negative, the focal length, everything. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.